Hey, it's Christina here, a running mess, and I am currently running on a trail, and I am running in my Ultra Running Lone Peak 2.0 shoes, and it's the, it's the first time I'm actually running in zero drop shoes, not the first run in them. This is actually um, a few runs into the shoes, and I was really curious about the Lone Peaks or ultra running shoes and the zero drop shoes in general because I heard a lot of good things about them. Um, it's supposed to be pretty close to natural running, um, whatever that means. So I was at a running store clearance sale and saw these babies and I picked them up for 50 bucks and it was just my size. So I thought this is perfect because I've been wanting to try these shoes. But I really didn't want to spend a hundred plus dollars for shoes that just may not be a great fit for me. So the guy, you know, had asked, you know, are you familiar with zero drop shoes? And I said no. So he opened up the box and says, well, there's instructions in here for you. And I thought, running shoes come with instructions? <laughs> so, I thought this was really interesting. You know, just in case I ever forget which shoe goes on what foot, comes in handy, right? <laughs> so, I got the shoes and I decided to test them out on a shorter run. So, I took them to the gym with me and they did weights while I ran on the treadmill. <laughs> okay, they didn't. I did two miles on the treadmill and my calves really hurt. My arches, the arches in my feet were sore and I thought, wow, this is really interesting. I heard that if you're not really familiar or used to them, they can have an impact on your, your leg. You can feel it a little bit more. So I thought, hmm, okay, this is not cool, but I expected it. So, you know, it is what it is. And I did it on a short run, so that's fine. So the next day I decided to run in them again and I went for 4.7 miles and this time I was out on the road and the first couple of miles I still felt the same thing in my um, calves and in my arches felt tightness and I just kept wondering if these shoes were not going to be suitable for me but then I got them for 50 bucks that's such a deal and even the sales guy said, wow, you got a good deal. Well, it's a good deal if they're perfect for me. But um, either way, I was still gonna wear them. I didn't really care. Something kind of funny happened. That halfway through the run, I felt great. Like my legs felt great, my calves, you know, my feet. It was like something miraculous had happened. And my run just felt effortless. Now, I don't know if had to do with just breaking in the shoes or maybe I was adjusting my alignment and how I was running. So I thought, great, this is, this is a nice feeling. The third time I ran, I went a little longer and this time I ditched the treadmill and the road and tested them out on trails because that was what the, the true test was gonna be. And these are trail shoes. So I took them out for a spin. I did about seven miles in them and felt great. Felt absolutely great. In fact, I'm wearing them right now. Yeah, I'll show you. And I haven't had any problems with feeling any calves, or, you know, pain in my calves or arches or feet or anything like that. Now, 
I don't know if they're gonna be perfect for me for a hundred miles. You know, I haven't tested them out on a really long run, like a 20 miler, 30 miler, I don't know. But I'm enjoying them now. They feel good. And I love the little gator trap it has on the back of the hill. So I don't have to add additional Velcro to the shoe for my gators. I'm not wearing gators now, but you know, I'm excited to try that um, when I do. So, pretty good. I mean, pretty good deal now. Shorter runs, they feel great. I don't know about the longer runs, I'll test them out. But um, I know that there's newer models out. I know that this is the 2.5, uh, which I heard good things about as well. But I'm glad I'm starting out with these ones because if I went to the other models, I wouldn't have anything to compare it to. So I'm happy and it's a good start. She was probably wondering what shoes I was wearing. <laughs> All right, talk to you later. Bye. Some very nice gentleman asked me if he would like me to have him hold my phone so I can film. <laughs> How nice is that? <laughs> I declined, but it was a very sweet offer. <laughs> That's funny.